Well, hello everyone. This is Chris Burris with Automation MD, and today I want to talk a little bit about the importance of doing customer surveys. You know, this is something that I really encourage my customers to do, my consulting clients to do, because as a business owner, it is extremely important to know how your customers feel about you. You know, one thing that I've learned in 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 dealing doing business for the last ten years is customers are not always going to complain. Some people are very non-confrontational. And so doing a survey gives them the ability to share their feelings in a non-threatening environment. You know, sometimes when you talk about surveys, a lot of people get a little intimidated by it because they think it's really difficult. You know, you got to send a survey out, then you got to collect the survey. What are you going to do with the information? That type of stuff. But Infusionsoft makes it really easy to do surveys for your customers. Oftentimes I'm asked how often you should survey from what I've read and from what I've done, I think you should survey your new customers within the first 60 to 90 days, and you should probably survey existing customers at least once a year. Any more than that, and I think you're probably bugging people. So that's just my feelings about it. Um, so let's get into this. Infusionsoft, like I said, makes it really easy. And we can pretty much bracket our, our customers into three categories in terms of how they feel. Are they a promoter, which means are they really happy with me? Are they neutral, they can take me or leave me? And are they a detractor, are they, are they not happy, or are they looking to possibly leave? And knowing where people stand in these three areas is very important to growing your business and keeping it from shrinking by losing customers here. So let's get into this and, and figure out how easy, show you how easy that this is done through Infusionsoft. I developed this for a medical billing company and uh, let's get into it. So the first thing we do here is we ask, the, ask their current customers um, to go fill out our survey form in an email. So in an email, we send it out. And in the email, there's a link here that says, please go here and fill out our survey. Okay. And the survey is an actual web form in Infusionsoft. And <clears throat> the survey, if you notice, it doesn't have... Um, 10,000 questions on it. Uh, it just has one question. How likely are you to refer us to a friend, basically? And give them a chance to express any feedback that they have. Okay? Once they submit that survey to us, based on what they selected on the form, we can start to segment them into if they're 9 or 10, they're a promoter. If they chose 7 and 8, they're a neutral. And if they chose 6 and below, we classify them as a detractor. If they're a promoter, then what we're going to do is we're going to thank them. We're going to tag them as a happy customer. We're going to thank them for filling out our survey. And then we're going to ask them for a referral a month after they take the survey. Okay? And we're going to drive them to a referral form where they can actually fill out a form to give us a referral. And then we can follow up with the referral right here in our referral sequence, follow-up referral sequence. So we can do all that stuff in one campaign with Infusionsoft. It's pretty cool. If they're a neutral, we're also going to ask them for a referral, but we're also going to do something else, and that is we're going to create a task for our customer support team to reach out to our neutrals and see what we can do to make things better for them. Remember, a happy customer is a loyal customer. So we're going to see what additional things we can do to make those people happier. And then our detractors down here, we're not even going to ask those for those folks for referrals because you might get them upset. But we are going to thank them for the feedback. And that's really important. You should always thank people for feedback. Even if it's negative, you should always thank people for the feedback. And we're going to thank them for the feedback. We're going to tag them as an unhappy customer. We're going to create, an, we're going to create a task for our in, internal support team to reach out to them and then we're going to resolve any concerns that they have. Okay, So this is how easy it is to do a customer survey in Infusionsoft. Definitely you should, as a business owner, you should be doing customer surveys because it's a perfect way to lead up into your get referral routine and your cross-selling or upselling routines. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Appreciate you tuning in. Have a wonderful day.